Good evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblumen. You're watching the Theo Nightly video for the 29th of October here in 2020. And yeah, you're right, more earnings. Today I had a lot of big name earnings and we're going to go through them shortly after the close. You'll know more information than I will because this is directly after the market has closed here on the 29th. Let me just show you what is in play this morning and the S&P 100, there are stocks outside of it. Of course, I like to focus on the S&P 100. But in that small list of the broader S&P 500, we had DuPont. And that's if it's zero days till earnings, you can do a scan with this. I use this as a watch list. So if it says zero, that means it reported earnings before the bell. If the number is 0.5, it means it reported earnings today, zero days, right? Zero day, zero hour after the bell. And if it's a one, that means it's tomorrow and so on and so forth. So uh, let me just go through these. I'll pull this off the screen so we can see all clearly, but I don't want to focus on, well, we'll do it right real quickly. So DuPont, and by the way, this is our expected move earnings indicator here at TheoTrade. And Don walks us through butterfly trades using this logic. So what we're seeing now on the left side of the screen is the one minute chart of the post earnings move. Again, what I'm showing you right now, this is not going to come into play not for these at least, because these stocks have already reported. DuPont, Comcast, Kraft Heinz Foods, American Tower. Actually, I'll do it this way. It makes it easier. American Tower, ConocoPhillips. Had the earnings call a little bit later. And Southern Company. Some of your butterfly trades here are in these names just quickly before i show you individually starbucks facebook apple amazon the google and if you're curious tomorrow has honeywell colgate altria exxon mobile charter and, uh, comcast today charter tomorrow paypal and uh, actually those come up on monday all right so let's jump back to these here we go roll our sleeves up starbucks has a earnings based straddle based expected move to about the 81.35 or 95 clearly at least at this point with the earnings announced and i i won't go through the earnings it's just a 10 minute video for reference just to let y'all know if you are curious about the earnings the information the news feel free to go to the market a watch tab or the analyze tab actually to take a look at what the reports are See, Starbucks actually beat the Wall Street estimate, but that doesn't really matter. We have to go inside the news and find out what the earnings were. And that's just a news widget down here all the way at the bottom. Again, if you are curious, you can take a look at Starbucks and see what the news is. So you can just jump into the news panel here in Thinkorswim. So if they see... Uh, estimation, they have the news report, they have the earnings, uh, lots and lots, lots to go through. If you're in a position or thinking of positioning or trading into this next day or beyond and you're curious, that's how you might get that data. So just looking at the chart and the expected move and what's going on after hours here, Starbucks is down at the 86 print. Yes, yes, you're right. You heard this right. It beat earnings, but it's down. Probably having to do with things behind the scenes and that's again way outside of um, what I'm looking at this particular video, just setting up for tomorrow's session and the outcomes. So Facebook, Starbucks is down. Facebook is, well, at the moment was up a little bit. The expected move earnings play for Facebook takes it to about uh, just under 250 and 312. Right now, Facebook is a little bit unchanged. I say that <laughs> tongue in cheek. It moved up to 298, almost 300, and moved down to 270. But as I'm speaking right now, it is roughly where it closed. Apple, it's got some little opportunities here for us. And that expected move for Apple takes it, roughly speaking, I'm not going to get it right now, uh, 126 to about 104.50, roughly speaking. This again is the minute, this is the daily chart, so levels onto expectation. This is the minute by minute chart. It was a trend day to the upside. So Apple was strong today. Most tech stocks in the market were strong today. But Apple after hours, after the bell, after the earnings, which is here, 
even though it fell to 113 down here, it's roughly where it started. This is the big one. You'll again, I repeat, you'll know more than I do. Twelve dollars per share. I am curious. This was one that beat expectations and had good news. Let me jump back to this quickly on Amazon news. Just curious, curious what happened there on the update. We'll jump this in. Yeah, Amazon's this is the headline news. Uh, pandemic driven online shopping as sales surge. Amazon had its most profitable year ever, and the holidays are still on the way. Um, bull, 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 you know, bullish, 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 so on and so forth. And you'd think this stock would be straight through the roof, but it just isn't. And that's where the difficulty is for earnings. Not only do we have the beat, right, 12, and that's you know, decent uh, in terms of earnings per share, 6.7 or 4.7, 5, $10.30, 12 $12.37. I'm curious. Yeah, it uh, it beat the street. Wall Street estimates was about 7.3, and we're up 12 per share. That beat the street. So let's think where it's going to go straight up, and the market doesn't always work that way. So that's what the butterflies do. It's risk control. You're making a directional bet, but you're doing so with controlled risk. This is a strategy we use here in Theotrade for those earnings butterflies or earnings expected moves. You are... Welcome, or if you don't trade before the earnings, if Amazon or if one of the companies does play into these expected move levels, you may be able to trade a reversal or a fade trade intraday or swing against one of these two levels. And we're not going to quite get it at, at this moment. But again, there's plenty of time before the opening bell tomorrow. So you might want to take these levels in mind, straddles and expected moves write them down and possibly trade movements away from this expected move. It's just similar to the weekly expected move, except this is an earnings based play. The market can travel to one of them. That's the butterfly logic and then trade away from it. So that's the thought process for us on the intraday frame. So Amazon, even though it popped a three, three, two, Oh, just shy of that expected move all the way down to three, one, <laughs> and just sort of amazing how these are after market hours move. But again, hold tight. Don't get stressed. Your option butterfly or in out spread will protect your risk. You don't want to go into earnings long or short shares because anything can happen. Guard your risk and protect your risk and hedge out with the opposite side, which is typically a spread type of trade or the butterfly. Not done yet. Google. Google has its projected or expected move on the earnings play. I have some own my own lines here, but roughly 1692 and 1421. So neither of those are going to come into play uh, at the moment. That's not true. Uh, 1692 is <laughs> right there. <laughs> so it did come into play, right? It spoke too soon. And that that's what you should be thinking about or looking at if you do not have a trade on. So if Google opens the session and maintains these bullish prints or bullish tape, you might consider a short or a fade or, of course, close any profitable long trades or butterflies into 1695 or just say 1700, roughly speaking. And that could see every reversal down. So Google is going to play into that expected move earnings and it reported per share profit of 16.4. And that's all in the way of today's earnings plays as we are end of day. Bell has rung, and we'll see how these hold or fade or strengthen before the close. So quickly on Google, just if you're interested, Alphabet, I, I will refuse to call it anything but Google, but the stock is actually Alphabet, and this is years of doing it. Uh, shares up 5% after hours trading. Massive earnings and revenue beat. And the first ad revenue gain of this year. So uh, these are certainly news and headlines to go through. Stock surges as resurgent Google ad sales deliver earnings and beat. So we trade off these levels, expected move and volatility. And there's more to go. <laughs> these are the big ones here on the 29th of October. There's more earnings coming. Everybody be safe, be careful, and have a good evening.